Hi friends, this is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Scarlet Hollow. This is episode 12? 13? Somewhere around there. Episode 13. <gasps> spooky number 13. Spooky number 13. Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I am a nerd, but that's okay. We're going back into where we left off, which was kind of like this haunted possession psychedelic dream with really creepy imagery, flies, rams, ditchlings, and then suddenly the moon opens up and it's just Dwayne coming out. It's like, what the heck, Dwayne? Now, now, now we get to know why Tabby's just like, don't worry about Dwayne. I don't want to know about Dwayne. Yeah, this. There you are. I would have found you sooner, but the Resonant clearly w doesn't want me here. Resonant? Oh. It doesn't seem to have the same issue with these miserable little parasites. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so the ditchlings are real? Holy sh- I thought they were like hallucinations. Is all of this real? Oh, this is terrifying then. Oh, goodness. And Dwayne's just like, oh, yeah, this is terrifying. Oh, oh, just squished him. Bottom feeders always manage to slip through the cracks, don't they? <sighs> <sighs> I could squatch a ditchling too if I wanted to. <laughs> Powerful build, you're a bitch. <laughs> nope. Hey, how did you get here? Oh, hey, it's Tabitha's ex. Quick, Tabitha, let's team up against him. Hey, D hey, Wayne, you want to figure this out with us? Hey, Wayne, you want to figure this out with us? Because right now, Wayne has been stalking me, but I have. No reasons not to, like, trust him for, like, this situation. <laughs> Wanna figure this out with us? Don't talk to it! <laughs> Let Dainty Tank speak. I'm no enemy. Don't listen to it either! What an unfortunate situation you've been dragged into, Dainty Tank. Why can't you do as I ask and stay out of trouble? But that girl won't let you, will she? Stella? Is that her name? Don't you mess with my Stella! Perhaps I should pay her a visit soon. If she makes it out alive. Tabitha bolts for the underbush, desperately pulling you along. Stella! Oh no, what's he gonna do? Hey, are you okay? <laughs> Couldn't have been easy for you. See, Tabitha, who the hell is he? <laughs> well, are you having- No. Tell me now. Did you kill Sam Wayne? No. Tabitha, who the hell is he? If you see it again, ignore it or better better get run away. Come on, we need to keep moving. If that thing got in, there must be a way out. Oh, that's traumatizing. Look at this guy up here. Holy heck. Oh, oh, there's so much liquor. Oh, <laughs> and this person. Hi. Blink. Can I click you? <gasps> oh, hold on. Oh, I was not paying attention. I didn't even read that. Figure rises to attention, blocking your way. <laughs> I'm afraid he doesn't have long. If there's anything you need to say to him, I'd say it now. Oh, God. So many liquor bottles here. Oh, and that drip. So bad. Oh, and there's a hand. Oh. Oh, okay. So, this is horrifying. This is horrifying. The sounds. Oh, my goodness. So, like, obviously, this is from Charlie. Charlie literally is saying that he watched his father drink himself to death, I think either Charlie or himself or his father 
As Zane is swept away, the room pulls itself to you and you find yourself looming over a deathbed. Oscar lies in its center, looking pitifully small. Oh! I'm sorry, boy. Sorry I let my troubles drive your mama away. And sorry those troubles mean I'm leaving you all alone now. Bottles and rails. Oh no. There's liquor everywhere, and after the collapse, Senior was run out of town on the rail. Hence all of the, the rails. The goat portrait there is what the wounded lamb from the room with Rosalina grew up to be. Same as the goat head in the garden, as in Charles Jr. Charlie. Yeah, that must sum it up. Jeez, I feel bad for the guy. No, that's exactly what he wants us to feel, isn't it? Oscar looks so small and pathetic in that bed. Damn it, Junior. How many times do I have to tell you? I tried to stop it from beginning, but that damn snake and hawk went behind my back. Oh, what bullshit! <laughs> Tabitha! Strike a nerve? Is something on your mind? People really need to learn how to- no. That is a okay. kite, no. Here we go with the hole and knock thing again. Is something on your mind? Or- let's say strike an earth. Sorry, just had a message. What you doing? Okay. Boop. Alright, here we go. Oh, what bullshit. Uh, strike a nerve! Strike a nerve! It was Charles Shaw's fault. That's just a fact. Is it fact, or is that what you've been told? You know what they say about history, it's written by the victors. Oh. It's written by the victors. Uh-huh. And Charles Sr. was clearly not a victor. As if the Scarlets were any kind of victors themselves. The collapse hurt their reputation too, you know. It took years for the mind to recover. <laughs> You're right, I've been using that excuse for too many years. At a certain point, a man has to accept where he's dug his own grave. This may have run me out, but they didn't put the bottle in my hand. Still. They destroyed our legacy, boy. Both our names are cursed with that history. I'll be dead and gone soon, but I won't be able to rest. Not until our name is cleared. Not until you can pass on hit, hit this name with pride. This is my only request, Charlie. Go back there. Tell people the truth. Try to find proof. I don't know what you'll have to do, but please. I know it ain't. I ain't been the best father, but I'm no murderer. I'm so confused. I guess this request r r didn't really pan out. Do you think that's why he was getting close with Edwinine? So, wait. This is after the scene with Arsley there or before the scene with Stella? I don't know. Maybe you are a murderer. Seems like you killed yourself. Alright, Dad, I won't let you out. Down. Uh. Uh. Do you think that's why he was trying to get close with, with Edwin? Ed Edwarding? I don't know. I guess it's possible, but it doesn't look like it panned out. Damn it, boy. I might have till the morning. Promise me. Promise me you'll go back. At the very least, show that a knock bastard what for. I promise. No. I'm not promising anything. I'm gonna stand in silence on that one. You watch as Oscar's body seizes and falls through the sheets, taking the rattling bottle of pile of bottles with him. Uh, this ghost is so full of it. <laughs> Tabitha's not having it. The cousin steps forward and disappears through the hole left in the bed, leaving you to follow. <laughs> follow her. Jeez. This freaking ghost. You find yourself pressed uncomfortably against the trellis. A small castle sets off a small castle sets off to one side of the wall, and the bars of a prison loom over both all of you. Over both all of it and all of you. 
climbing up the trellis again. How very Romeo and Juliet of you. No need to run off. I won't tell the old man, though you've gotten sloppy. You should try to be more careful if you don't want him pulling you to an early grave. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll get you out somehow, Avery, I promise. Who's this? I like to see the old man try. Thanks for the pointer, strange and new friend. Oh, not one of your brothers. I'm a prisoner. Another victim of the Scarlet's lies. Like you, Charles Shaw. The castle. The goat knight. The unicorn. Does your family have a history of locking folks up in some sort of rich people dungeon? Is this the Forbidden Wing? I hate- I too hate the Scarlet's, except for lovely Edwinine. Please tell me about all of their secrets and lies. Uh... I'm so tempted. I, I want to know this one. The castle, the goat, the unicorn are the estate. Charles Jr. and Edwinine, I'm guessing. But that's definitely not her behind those bars. No, definitely not. A new generation makes no difference. His blood runs in your veins, does it not? No, it runs in hers. Uh-oh. Yes, it seems your little tryst bore fruit. And oh, will you ever be in trouble when your old man finds out? Tabitha's eyes grow wide. But if this is the state, is there a room with bars on the window? Shh, let, let it talk. I, th I think it might be important. <laughs> you know, you don't have to keep dangling there. Come inside. You'll be able to hear me through the door just fine. Oh. Oh, goodness. There's ditchings over here. Oh, God. This is terrifying. The world around you swirls, and you and Tabitha find yourselves pulled to the other side of the door. A door bound by countless locks and chains pulsates before you. This is definitely supposed to be the estate. Tell me how much of this is real and how much is a metaphor. Let's just leave this thing. I don't want to be here. Um, do you want me to let you out? I'm not messing with those. Yeah, this is definitely the estate. Stop talking. We might miss something. It's not that I off invite you in for. I cannot escape even with your help. I merely want to offer a warning. Leave town now. You can't tell me what to do. Well, Tabitha, you heard it. You better leave town. I wish I could. Why? Why should I leave? The guy has nobody to blame but himself. You hear that, ghost? You were given every warning. You could have just left. You can't take her with you. That's not possible. You could always stay and die. But if I were you, I would use my healthy legs and run as far away from Scarlet Hollow as possible. I hear the beaches are nice. <laughs> Why don't you take a permanent vacation there? This mysterious figure has the right idea. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Just go to the beach, yeah. <laughs> Kill to go to the beach right now. Uh, why should I trust you? I wish I could. Why should I trust you? Oh, you've been talking to the witch then. How very interesting. Uh -huh. Charlie, get away from the door. Don't listen to it. Oh, that was Stella. Charlie, Stella is Edwinine. Oh! Oh, Stella! Uh huh? <laughs> Stella. Promise we'll figure out how to free you soon, Stella. There can't be much more to these memories. A witch's wheel? A witch's wheel? <laughs> this is like being stuck in some sort of soap opera. It is. Eddie. What the hell is going on here? Eddie, I'm so happy to see you. I'll listen to whoever I dang well please. No. Eddie, what the hell is going on here? How doesn't know that? Oh, ho, ho. This. This is too much. I just want to go home. Do you feel sick? I feel sick. Yeah, I felt sick pretty much the whole time we've been in here. That room. It's the deal with that room. Are you related to Char- Are we related to Charlie? Do you know where in the estate you're supposed to be right now? Let's move on. Uh, no. Do you know where in the estate we're supposed to be right now? 
if this is even a real place and not some sort of garbled mess of a metaphor and memory. It would probably be in the Forbidden Wings, at least going off of the location of the windows. It's been sealed off for at least a decade, though. There's no point thinking about it, okay? I don't want you to get in any ideas and sneaking around and falling you to your death through a hole in the floor. Come on, the quicker we get through this, the quicker we get out of this ghost place, hopefully. You would have to walk after Stella and into the darkness. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. Oh, there's a lamb. There's some legs. Oh, the legs are dangling. Even worse. <sighs> no. You and your cousin find yourselves crouched under a large table. Stella stares through you as an indecipherable murmurs and shuffling feet echo from the ends of the table. I don't know how, but this feels so much worse than the last room. <laughs> They're so lovely. Are you sure I can't? I can keep one. You must have worked very hard on them. Oh, neither of them ever left the shadow of their parents, did they? Uh-huh. It's not... Not more puppets. Uh, so we're supposed to be kids. This one is extra creepy. Is she doing a baby voice? It's a gift. Take it. Now you've got no point but puppet for you then. Uh, now either of them left the shadow of their parents, did they? I guess not. I don't think either Charlie or Eddie really got what they wanted out of life. It was. It doesn't justify what this ghost is doing, though. I mean, it looks like the ghost saw us, the Scarlet, and is fucking with us. Because this is a juncture that's been hidden. <sighs> that look with the teeth. <laughs> I'll try to keep it away from my brother so they don't smash it. Though I wish I could make it move more like you. And you can even do the voices. You know, you could probably make real money if you put it on that show for people. Thing even possessed Stella is out there trying to monetize hobbies. <laughs> the hustle, the hustle is real. <laughs> uh, not in it for the money. Those wooden dolls are mere stepping stone for a real deal. People, it's a plan. And maybe you could come with me. We both afford the horrible things there. We could both avoid the horrible things that are going to happen in this town. Let's do that. A traveling show and you want me to, there too oh could we do the towns along the beach I heard the outer banks are the most beautiful place in the world the outer banks are beautiful we're beautiful a lot more than are anymore unfortunately I wish we could go back to the time to all those years ago and tell them what we know again with the beach hmm I wish we could go back in time me too. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. I always wanted to see the ocean. There. Are you done now, Charlie? Can we leave? Oh! Everything crashes to a thunderous black before you and Tabitha can get in another word. Uh. Oh. Puppets. Our friends are puppets. Our friends are puppets. Single spotlight remains illuminating a trapdoor in the center of the stage. You feel drawn to it. We're the final performers, aren't we? Uh huh. You should open it. I'm opening. Open the trapdoor. Okay. We're the final performers, aren't we? We must be. Which one of us is going to open the door? Why are you asking that? Are you scared? Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> well, I'm not. It creeps open all on its own. Oh god. This is so much worse than opening it ourselves. You and Tabitha are shoved from behind and tumble through the hatch. Uh. It took some digging. But it's there. The map was right. 
It means there's hope. Eddie, whatever it is that Nanak did, we can undo it. We can be happy to get. Eddie? Oh. oh my god. Oh god, I'm gonna be sick this time. Buddy, it's okay. Oh my goodness. Your cousin violently heaves in to the void, but nothing comes up. There's nothing here. This place is completely empty. There's nothing here. This place is completely empty. So Edwardine was the murderer. <laughs> Wherever is that enacted, we can undo it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Who was Edwardine, Edwardine in relation to us? Are we in hell? Okay, everyone is missing. We're supposed to be uh, infinite. How do you know we're not related to Charlie? Okay, I want to know about this one. Edward Enoch died nearly 80 years ago. Doesn't matter what he did. Did doesn't matter if he framed Charles Shaw at this point. Who's left to be hurt by any of this? Oh, Ugh. what now? Do you repent? Do you repent for your crimes? Are you talking to us? Tabitha's the one you want! I haven't even stepped foot in this town before a couple days ago! Why should we? I'm not responsible for any. Why should I be? Yes, no. I'm sorry you died. You gotta let this go. <laughs> let it continue. You must answer for the crimes committed by your scarlet blood. Are you kidding me? I hate it here. I hate it so much. Until you do, I cannot die. I want to die. Please. I have been alone in the dark for so long. All I ask is for some of your years. To pay for the years that were taken from me. What, what are you saying? My life was stolen from me. I want some of yours. It's only fair. No, no, no. <laughs> it is absolutely not fair. You gotta be kidding me. Neither of us had anything to do with what happened to you. The sins of the father are to be laid upon the children. One of you must forfeit. It doesn't matter which. Bullshit. Booksmart, you're on trial here, aren't you? Advocate for yourself. What happens if we refuse? Uh, let's advocate. Advocate. If you're putting us on trial, you need to give us a chance to present our case. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have rights, you know. I take it you have a plan, then. Your plea is met with silence, but silence isn't judgment. Keep talking. For all your focus on the collapse in your death, have you forgotten about Eddie's pregnancy? We're not just Scarlet's. We might be Shaw's. Oh, sight of things. You want revenge or do you want justice? You don't need anything from us to move on, whether you realize it or not, but nobody's keeping you here. Memories you shared were rife with overblown metaphor. Nope. Possibly past judgment. You were told to leave repeatedly. You knew the risks and you chose to stay anyways. Sins be passed upon us were Charles Shaw's sins passed on you. Ooh, that's a good one. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save. Uh... Yes, save here. Just in case. Because I feel like this is very important. For all your focus on the collapse. Have you thought about your pregnancy? More silence, keep going. Memories you've showed... Why should the sins of our forefathers be passed on to us, or Shaw's, Charles Shaw's sins passed on to you? In life, did you not did you want to punish Edward Dane and Enoch, or did you want to move on and build a brighter future together? 
fresh tension purples up in the air. You're almost out of this. You're losing sight of things. Do you want revenge or do you want justice? Do you need anything from us to move on? You don't need anything whether you realize it or not. Nobody's keeping you here. We can't give you closure. Uh... Uh, you were told to leave repeatedly. You knew the risks, and you chose to stay. That's right. Whether you want it happened to be to you was your fault. You should have listened when you had the chance. Ignore your cousin. <laughs> the jury box is pulled away as you and Tabitha are brought face to face with the spirit. It's time for your closing argument. You hated the way your father destroyed your family. Don't become in death what you despise so much in life. You take responsibility for your own actions without blaming others. Are you guilty for the crime of just being Lord, or have you lost your way? No. You hated the way your father destroyed your life. Yes, don't do that. Silence. Uh, it's so creepy. Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, this is so creepy. But we did it. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is trippy. I love it so much. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and the puppet show. The legs. Oh my goodness. Oh, the puppet master. Little Charlie Shaw. Maybe great granddad. And then everything fades to black. The haunted turnabout. Oh ho ho! Ho ho ho! Wow! You and Tabitha come to in a basement and a mound of packed earth and dirt in front of you. Your friends are nowhere to be seen, though Sybil remains standing on the stairwell as if she's been patiently waiting for you to get up. Ah, the spirit has gone. Two of you are back, and both of you are whole. I have to admit that this was quite an unexpected outcome. Excellent work, Dainty Tank. Thank you, Sybil. Why do you know? I hope you don't mind, but I took advantage of the distraction to free everyone else. They're all outside. Take all the time you need to collect yourselves. I'll see you out there. Sybil heads upstairs, leaving you and Tabitha alone in the basement. Huh. So that actually worked. <sighs> I've got to stop picking fights with you. Yeah, you need to. Uh, investigate the shallow ground? Yeah, I do. So, so we'll see actual mysticism going on here. Oh, is this a bit of respect I'm detecting from you? I want to hit that up, but shallow ground first. Before you go, decide to investigate shallow ground in the middle of the room. Tabitha follows closely behind you and watches you dig. Charlie's mummified remains stare up at you and broken at the bottom of the pit. There's another starting carving down here. Just like the one we saw in the mines last night. This must be where the map took him. He looks so small. <laughs> what do we do about the body? Uh, let's talk about that. Your cousin stands in contemplative silence. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, is that a bit of respect? Well, let's see if you could feel that way in the morning. Uh, I don't want to spend another second down here. And thanks, Tabitha. That means a lot. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get out of here, okay? <laughs> All right. You're outside. It's real this time. A cool autumn breeze blows small piles of dried leaves across the steps of the library. Finally, we're out of the fun house. I'm gonna go wait by the car. The last thing I want to do after all that is talk to people. <laughs> Alright, bye. Tabitha doesn't wait for you to respond, pushing past you and heading towards the car. I'm gonna piece out two back-to-back -back encounters with my own mortality. I've got a lot to ponder. 
See ya, Rosalina. See ya, Alexis. Peace. Zane walks off down the road. Uh, how are we supposed to know it would be like that? <sighs> Things have been strange around town, sweetie. Not now's not the time to be poking around with the soup uh, in the supernatural. I thought you learned a la that lesson yesterday. <laughs> but magic isn't real. <laughs> I mean, I'm not supposed to be. God, that hurt. Everything is so sore. <laughs> My bones weren't meant to bend like that. I'm gonna be hurt for a few days at least. And poor Rosalina. I'm pretty. I'll make sure to bring them some tea later. I think I have just the thing. Oh, um, this is no time for tea. <laughs> Jesus, that girl's lost a leg. She needs real medication. Real medication comes from natural ingredients, doesn't it? What if I have to offer is no different than what Dr. Kelly could prescribe. <laughs> not quite true. What Dr. Kelly can prescribe is actually a chemically altered and highly condensed and dosed version of what you can offer in natural ingredients. So, kinda, but not quite. Besides, after all you've seen, are you really so sure you have that much of a grasp on the real and unreal? Ooh, Sybil laying down the fire. The empty tank, is it really gone? Yeah, it's over. It's a bit of a Hail Mary, but yeah, it's gone. I don't have to sacrifice- <laughs> and I didn't have to sacrifice anything. She st saved all your skins with the power of my master to beat skills. I'm <laughs> just so happy to help. All that matters is Rosalina can go back sleeping her in her own home. Is it really gone? Um, the answer... Uh, it's a bit of Hail Mary, but yeah, I'd sacrifice this. Well, yeah, let's go back with this. All that matters is that Rosalina can go back sleeping in her own home. You're too modest. It's a considerable feat to reason with a spirit like that. I can't believe you actually got us out of there. And you got your house back. And you got our house back. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'll do my best to make it up to you. I think that ghosts are actually real. cell has got to be over the moon right now. Doesn't look like it. Actually, wait. Where is Stella? Oh, she's standing there by herself. That isn't like her. Is she okay? Stella! You okay? You want to hang out with the rest of the class? Go talk to Stella. Is she okay? I was wondering the same thing. You, we just saw a ghost and she's standing up by herself. Which is, which like, fair. That'd be a normal reaction for anyone who'd just seen a ghost. But this is Stella we're talking about. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Stella. We go check in on her. You walk over to Stella. Oh, hey, Dainty Tank. I'm here if you need me. You okay? There was another one of those carvings in there. So I guess, uh, ghosts actually are real, huh? Your channel's gonna go wild for that stuff. So sorry you couldn't get you out of there soon here. You seem shell-shocked. Uh, let's mention the carvings. I'm so sorry, Dainty. I don't think I can talk right now. I'll call you, okay? She hurls off the- hurries off down the road. Okay. What if she's still possessed? I th no, I think she took the brunt of things in there. I wonder if she's having a hard time right now. Should we go after her? She seems okay. I'm starting to think Stella might be a bit of a flake. Guess that hit her limit. <laughs> no, should we go after her? Stella. I think she just needs some time for herself. Stella's never been, able, been the kind to uh, share her burdens, and I doubt that'll change just because someone goes chasing after her. If anything, it might just make her clam up more. She's a strong girl. She'll be okay. Honestly, surprised she and Zane are the only ones heading out right now. Y'all have been through so something awful, and each and every one of you needs rest. Especially you, Kanika. We don't want that cold of yours to get any worse. Uh, I should have s saved and done another one. Um, there was another carving in there. It's a pretty wild coincidence, right? I wonder if these things are tied to everything supernatural that's been happening. Yeah, I wonder. One is a coincidence, but two of them back-to-back -back nights? And if you and Stella are right, there's another one in the clinic. 
I'm sorry, I'm a little lost. Have you been finding carvings around town? This is news to me too. I'm sure everyone here could stand about theorizing about this and, and that all night long. There are plenty of time for that tomorrow. Can't believe I'll let Rosalina go in there. How could I have been so careless? After everything she went through in the last day, how could I have let this happen? Uh, you can, couldn't have known what was going on, Oscar. None of us has known. Don't blame yourself. Actually, pretty harm to warn us th about things, Oscar. None of us took you seriously. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip over that. Uh, <laughs> I ran into Wayne in one of the rooms and vaguely threatened Stella if I keep broken around. That's kind of important to mention. <laughs> Everybody looks at me tired going, ah, oh, dang to tank. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Should we be worried about her? Yeah. He also crushed a ditchling with his bare hands. It was pretty scary. Uh, of course we should be. <laughs> uh, I think it's harmless. No, of course we should be. <laughs> I, I'll make sure someone knows what's going on. There was someone else in there? But that's my house. Rosalina, I, I live there. They say anything else to you? We don't need the trouble thing to tank for any detail. Come on! Sybil! <laughs> Let me talk. No one pay any mind to that man. He's just a drifter. He's not a drifter. He's been killed. <sighs> He'll be gone soon enough. In the meantime, steer clear and he won't make trouble. Uh. I'm actually... Um, uh, were you all conscious that time? Everybody glanced at each other, though none of them technically gave any of their years away. You can see how exhausted they are. How unsettled. Yeah. It was awful. Kind of fun, too, but mostly awful. I'm pretty sure we, uh, remember everything. At least up until Sybil showed us- showed up and snapped us out of it. Couldn't have known. You actually tried pretty hard to warn us about things, Oscar. None of these us took you seriously. Oh, I should have done a better job warning you. Couldn't have known how bad it could have been in there. I should have let Ro Rosalina come with us. Dad, what the hell did I tell you? Stop blaming yourself. Couldn't have stopped me. If you tried, you were going to sneak in. I was going to sneak in after you. <laughs> yeah, Rosalina was going to make us go in there no matter what. <laughs> Good job, kid. You didn't put a ghost in her house? That's not on you. Facts. You didn't travel 90 years into the past and murder <laughs> Charles Shaw in your home? No, you both had a difficult time with this, but the storm has passed and everything's worked out. Things will get start getting better from there. What was that like? <laughs> I don't even know who you were supposed to be. No idea. The words just came out. There was no context to anything, but there was a weird feeling, like an overwhelming guilt. I was so angry. I was mostly just scared. I don't feel any of those things. I felt... I don't know how to ex explain, describe it. I felt powerful. I was just cold. <laughs> what was it like being puppet? They all glance away. It hurt. <laughs> Why didn't I make the kids stay behind? I can't believe I let this happen to them. Dad, this might be the overwhelming pain and exhaustion talking, but shut up. I love you. <laughs> shut up. I love you. You didn't do anything wrong, okay? I have no reason, no idea what I was going to say until the words were actually spilling out. It was like I had no control over myself. I remember each and everything I said. It's like I was burned into my memory. You poor souls. Begin to imagine what you've all been through. We should probably get going. It's starting to get chilly out, and there's still some work to do to get Rosalina set up for the night. Don't be a stranger. Let us know if you need anything, Rosker. I will. Thank you. I love you. Again. I believe it's time for me to uh, get my daughter home as well. But, can you get here? You haven't been feeling well. You need to get some rest. Okay. Kaneko rarely treks back to the general store. Before I go, Sybil places a hand on your arm, holding you back for a moment. I'm sure you have questions about everything you saw tonight, but let's not get into it here. 
I think everyone could use a little rest and relaxation right now, yourself included. Sybil, I want answers. I don't want to rest. <laughs> if you swung by the tea room sometime tomorrow, say early afternoon, you and I could have a little chat. I'll see you then, thing to tank. Sybil leaves you and catches up to her daughter. Guess it's just the two of us now. Guess it's just the two of us. So you have no idea who you were? Could roughly place most of the others. What do you remember? Do you regret coming along tonight? Uh, I guess we finally got some sure trauma. I mean, yes, you did. Any idea who you were? None whatsoever, but I remember everything I said. I remember that cold feeling. Prisoner of the Scarlets. Wonder what your family was up to back then. I guess we could add it to the ever-growing pile of mysteries. What do you remember? As far as I know, all of it. I might start forgetting it soon, but for now, it's all fresh. That twisting wasn't the most pleasant, but even though I felt like I got tossed in a blunder, it honestly made me feel so alive. So you don't regret, regret coming along? <laughs> Look, there's a horrible experience that will stick with me for the rest of my days, but it was also kind of amazing for that. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But how many other people can say they were possessed by a ghost? Not many. Let's finally have some shared trauma with everybody. <laughs> uh huh. Grabs at her ribs and wins it. Grabs at their ribs. No, I agree. Yeah, I guess I do, huh? I know tonight was horrific, but it was also thrilling. And knowing we all went through it together makes it easier. There are people to commiserate with tomorrow morning. When the soreness really starts to set in. Which reminds me, I better get get home. I'm supposed to have a shift tomorrow morning. I have to call in sick, but here's hoping a good night's sleep is good as enough to heal up. Avery heads off, leaving the square in front of the uh, library empty. Time to wrap things up here. All right, go back to the estate. <laughs> oh god, Tabitha's back to like being done with me. <laughs> the ride back is quiet, but not tense. Tabitha looks lost in thought as her glazed eyes stare at the wind winding mountain road. So I guess ghosts are real. Thanks for coming tonight. That place would have been a lot worse without you. Let's do that. I'd say that someone had to be there to watch your back, but I guess you wound up handling everything just fine by yourself. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You've got guts, Tainty Tank. Do you trust me now? More than I trust you like an hour ago, I guess. <laughs> so I go, uh, ghosts are real. Yeah, I guess so. It feels like people should be making a bigger deal about this. It's pretty terrifying to think about. Hell yeah. I want a thing to be able to definitively find out. How do you feel about that? Same as I felt before I went into that house. You'd be surprised how quickly people adjust to terrible realities. I'd much rather move on from what happened tonight than make a big deal of it. And I'd sure, sure, most of our your little friends feel the same way. Still, you did a good job tonight. I'm almost proud to call you my cousin. Almost. <laughs> right in silence. Slide back into silence as the car makes its way to the estate. Mm-hmm. All right. Also, who, who you by chance? <laughs> You're back inside. After the events of the evening, the howling winds and the unsteady creaks of the estate almost feel like a warm welcome. <sighs> well, we're back. I still can't believe we all made we all made it out in one piece. I want to talk about Wayne, like really talk. Do you think Cell is okay? Like emotionally, wander up back there. How do you know? How do you know to call Sybil? How did you know to call Sybil? Might have gotten rid of that ghost, but I'm still traumatized. Oh, I want all of these. <laughs> yes. Safe, just in case. I want to talk about Wayne. Here we go. Do you think he's actually going to hurt Stella? No, he's a creep. I don't think he has it in him to hurt her. And I don't think... I don't know if you've noticed, but Stella's irritatingly resourceful. She'll be fine. Did you kill him? 
He's obviously not dead, so no, and thanks for accusing me of murder. Love that. You really want me talking to him? You really- What does he know that you're afraid? Mm-hmm. What is he, does he know that you're afraid? I'll find out. I just know him. Please trust me when I say he's bad news. Why is he all gross? He's sick or something. Probably part of being a creepy weirdo. I don't know if it's contagious, but it wouldn't roll out, so don't go near him. Why is he following me? He's a creep stalking my, his ex's cousin. All the more reason to not talk to him. He's a different man now. Stay away from him. Do you think Cell is going to be okay? She's a pest, and like all pests, she has uncanny ways of bouncing back from things. She'll be fine. How did you know to call Sybil? So it was Sybil that she called. Who else would I have called? The cops? <laughs> yeah, they're useless. I believe you've seen their competence on full display. Besides, I'm sure you've heard the old woman talk. If ever anyone in this town would have known how to deal with a ghost, it would be her, right? Not that we need the help, apparently, but how was I supposed to know that you were able to just talk a ghost into submission? <laughs> uh, I've gotten rid of that ghost, but I'm still traumatized, yeah. That's great. Now you're really a scarlet. Oh, that smile. Let this be a lesson to you, Dainty Tank. Alright, it's time to go to bed. That's a good idea. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Don't keep poking around or looking for trouble. You don't have to make it to the funeral. Four more days. That's that's all. And then the bus comes. I'd like to stay in touch after all this is done. You tell me you can't tell me I'll do my best. Then we will never see each other again, you know? I don't have to leave the holler. <laughs> I don't have to. That's true. I could get used to this, to this place. You've got plenty of time to think that over. Anyway, night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> time to go to bed. You didn't even notice yourself entering the guest room and falling into bed. Suddenly, you're just there. Buried under your family's musty covers. Before your thoughts could drift away, the nightmarish recollections of Haro's past. Horrors! Hours! Horrors! Horrors! Past. You're... you're the dain just turn your dainty tank off and on again. It restarts the language. Uh, your phone buzzes on the nightstand. Hey, sorry I ran off earlier. Wound up in a really bad headspace. I care about you so much. Just need some time to get a handle on things. Sorry. Call her. Take all the time you need. Call her? I'm sorry. I let the ghost hurt you. I'm here if you need me. Thought proving the ghost would real would be exciting. Don't be a jerk. We don't have time. Digital things are still out there. Uh, take all the time you need. You put the phone back on the nightstand. It's Wednesday night. Nearly half a week has passed since you first arrived in town. A little over half a week remains until the bus comes to take you home. The spirit of Charles Shaw Jr. has been put to rest, but disaster still looms over the town of Scarlet Hollow. Still tonight was a good night. You fall asleep with a gentle, well-earned smile on your face. It's the end of episode three! Woo! Resonance, the Twilight Saga... Mix world. <laughs> Mix world! Uh, we hope to have see episode 4 released before the end of the year! <gasps> great! That's great news. If it comes out, I'm going to keep an eye out. If you'd like to continue the world word state, the world state in episode 4, please save your game now. I will. Immediately save the game. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So we've done that. And we're all set. Join the Discord. Continue. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter. Continue. Alright. <laughs> this was great. I, again, another succe successful episode. Special thanks. And you, the player! That was Scarlet Hollow. Episode 3. Episode 4 is coming out before the end of the year. I'll keep you informed in the know. I want to 
I want to play the next the next episode. I forgot how distinctly creepy this was and how on edge it made me because of the fact that like I could have lost. There was a lost ending where I lost years of my life to this ghost. <laughs> Holy snap. Oh my goodness. The powerful build is just useless. It's just <laughs> She-Hulk for no reason. Anyways, with this, I'm going to leave this here. I love you all. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye!